So I think it's safe to say that you all are familiar with J.P. Bouvet, and if not, then I don't know what kind of life you're living. But in like every video, he uses these little bell things on his hi-hats, and so many times in the comment section, I'll see, yo, what are those bell things? Yo, I need those, what are those? And no one ever seems to have an answer for them, but to answer that question, there are these little, you know, ankle bells or clam bells. So if you're like trying to dance around, then you can wear these and be all jingly. But I found these on Amazon, they're 25 on a string and they're $40. And then I also found these, uh, so we got 50 on a string and those are, yeah, $51. But I think I can show you guys a cheaper way to make a set of these. Or if you don't feel like making them, I'll have a link down below where you can buy them. So I started by searching Tibetan brass bells on Google and the cheapest ones I could find were on eBay. So I didn't really know what size to get, so I found these two, and the first one is 17 millimeters, which is a little bit smaller than the width of my thumb, and then the other ones are 3 eighths of an inch, which is a little bit smaller than the width of my pinky. So if we look back at the actual ones, I think they're more thumb sized as opposed to pinky sized, so I'll go with the bigger ones. So we get 20 of them, so I'll add 3 to my cart, so we'll get 60 bells for 12 bucks, so that's not too bad. So these ship from Jinhao, China, I don't know if that's how you say that, but expected deliveries between May 18th and June 23rd, so that's a pretty big gap. And last time I bought something on eBay from China, it took like three months to get here, so today is April 28th, so let's see how long it takes. So while we wait for the bells to come in, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought these shoelaces, and conveniently they are purple, so this will be the rope that I attach the bells to. And then also while we're waiting, uh, not trying to call out JP or anything, but do you all see what's wrong with this picture? He's not using a symbol sleeve. Alright, so the bells came in. Today is May 5th. It took exactly one week for them to come in, which was way faster than I was expecting. So that's pretty sweet. So these bells are just cast brass, so the little eyelets for them were kind of rough. So I had to drill them out for them to, to fit on the shoelace. And even after drilling them, the shoelace still doesn't exactly fit. So what I had to do was cut it at an angle and now they fit. So now I just need to put all these bells on the shoelace. So I'll get back to you once I do that because it's not that exciting. So there it is, all of the bells on the shoelace. There's a total of 61 bells. They sent me an extra one, I'm not complaining. So I decided to make it a loop instead of just one giant string. So I had to tie the two laces together. So right there where I tied it, I uh, used a zip tie to hold the loose end so it doesn't come undone. And same thing over here. So with them on the hi-hat, just like this, when you play it close with the stick, they're very subtle and almost unnoticeable. And the same thing goes for when you play them open. But where they really work well is when you play the hi-hat with your left foot because they really get moving. But you can really put them on anything, like your snare. Or 
the rat symbol. Dave playing jazz? Yeah, right. So I really don't know how the actual ones sound, but I think these, especially for less than half of the cost, will definitely get the job done. And plus, you'll have something unique that you made. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about these things. Also, if you have any clever or unique ideas on how you would use them around your drum set, I'd love to hear those as well. So feel free to leave me a comment. Also, I made a Facebook finally, so if you want to add me on Facebook, there's a link in the description. All my other info is there as well. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.